A gas has been found in the atmosphere of the planet Venus that is leading some scientists to believe that there could actually be life on that planet. Yes, life on Venus. So these photos show the gas surrounding the planet, which is also found here on Earth. And joining us to discuss this amazing discovery is the friend of the show, an astrophysicist with the National Science Foundation, Dr. Joe Pesch. Welcome back to the show, doctor. We have missed you in the studio. How are you, sir? Thank you. I'm doing well, and it's good to see both of you. Absolutely. So, Dr. Joe, just br uh, break this down for us so about the phosphine gas. We covered it a little bit on the show earlier. What is it actually indicative of, if anything, and what do we need to find out more in order to tell us why it's there? Okay, so phosphine gas is a very toxic substance, uh, very simple molecule, relatively simple molecule. And uh, on Earth, we know of only two ways that it can be uh, formed. Uh, industrially, in the lab, and through the action of uh, bacteria and microbes, so through biological processes. And so this is why it's exciting to discover phosphine outside of, outside of the Earth. And that's a connection that could be made. Is this uh, a biological process, or is it some other physical chemical process about which we, you know, we, we don't know? And so uh, that's the big open question. Now, I have to hasten to add that phosphine is detected all over the place. Uh, we've seen it in the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn. We see it in these big gas clouds that are sp spread throughout the galaxy. Uh, we've detected it in comets. So it's out there. And it's out there and being formed in a way that almost certainly isn't due to biology and you know isn't being created in our laboratories. Mm -hmm. So an exciting discovery in the atmosphere of Venus because it might indicate biology. On the other hand, it's exciting because it's indicating that it might be created in, in a way uh, naturally without biology that we don't understand. And so this is what science is all about, right? Uh, trying to understand things that we don't we don't know. So why is the discovery of the presence of phosphine um, considered differently in regards to Jupiter and Saturn versus creating all this excitement with regards to Venus? So J Jupiter, um, you know, has a big gravitational field. It's a giant uh, planet. Um, it has lots of heat in the core. And the thinking is that phosphine is generated deep in the interior and then it's dredged up uh, into the outer atmosphere. And you know, those sort of energy sources just don't exist in the atmosphere of Venus. Venus is much smaller and, and you know, doesn't have that, um, that, that big energy source that Jupiter does. So something almost certainly different is happening in the atmosphere of Venus than in the atmosphere of Jupiter. But Venus's atmosphere is significantly different than the atmosphere of Jupiter. And, you know, anywhere else that we know of, it's a very hostile, um, full of sulfuric acid, uh, hostile, um, relatively hot atmosphere. And so presumably there are processes there as well that are creating phosphine. Hmm. And what else can that, we know? That may be, that may yeah. be biology, but, but, you know, may not be. Right. So, I mean, I think it's an important word of caution as well. What do we also just know about Venus and its atmosphere, its hospita hospi hospitability to potential life and more? Because as I understood it, people had always ruled it out just because of how crazy of a climate that they have there. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, on the surface, it, it's uh, the atmospheric pressure is immense. Um, it's it's hot. Uh, it rains sulfuric acid. So it's not a very hospitable place. The atmosphere is similarly inhospitable, although, you know, maybe there are bands in the atmosphere that um, single cell life forms could exist, mm -hmm. um, but, but we don't know yet, of course. Got it. Yeah. All right, Dr. Joe. Thanks, Dr. Thank Joe. you appreciate for breaking it. it down. We appreciate it. Yes, of course. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. And we'll have more rising for you later today.